Hello everyone, I'm Deidre and I'm the curator here at the Railway and Forestry Museum. I'm Maria and I'm the assistant curator and the archivist here at the museum. And today we just wanted to show you in greater detail um, the paintings that we have here in the Lou Engelhart Beehive Burner exhibit, Beehive Burners Behind Us. We'll take a closer look today at some of the paintings we have that specifically show burners in the Prince George region. I just want to show you a few details about how we labeled the paintings. Underneath each painting we have a label that's actually a picture of the back of the painting itself and it shows what Lou named the painting. Usually he just named them after the mill where the burner is depicted. As we go through them, we'll show you any interesting notes that he put on the back of each painting. The first painting is of the burner at Northern Custom Lumber. It was painted in 1981. This is a small burner, as it is only eight panels high. Another interesting feature is the open conveyor belt feeding the burner. The next painting is of Lakeland Mills Limited. This was painted by Engelhart in 1974. This is a significantly larger burner than the last one. It is 19 panels high and has two conveyor belts. The scale of the burner is revealed when you notice the truck, which appears tiny in comparison. The soft pink and purple colors used for the burner are unusual and unique to this painting. In the 1974 painting of Domtar, the beehive burner is almost completely obscured by the smoke. This image demonstrates how Engelhart went to the sites himself, witnessed the burners at work, and captured them exactly how they were. This painting of a burner at J. E. Ogman & Sons from 1981 shows a small, abandoned burner in front of the Nechaco River. In his description, Engelhart spells Nechaco incorrectly, which is not surprising as he was not from the area. During his time of painting the burners, Engelhart was already starting to see the structures become abandoned and fall into decay. The last painting also shows a derelict burner. This painting is of Carrier Lumber in 1974. This burner has a unique shape as there is a cylinder on top of the cone. Another quirky feature of this burner is the weather vane on top. 